All right, you're probably here to figure out how to customize your Firefox, how to make it a little bit better for you to use so you can be on the internet and feel a little bit more secure. So the way to do that is by using what's called add-ons or extensions. Firefox is a pretty good program already, but they have these extensions like they're called that take a great program and make it a little bit better, a little bit better. Sorry, I think I repeated myself for you. So, basically, what these are, they give you options to do different things with your computer. I've seen things where you can use Firefox to actually control the music that you listen to while you're browsing to controlling another computer that's not uh, your computer to download and files off of torrents, all types of things. But I'm not here to show you any, any of those things. I'm just here to get you started on making your browsing experience a little bit safer. All right, first things first, we need you to go ahead and pull up your Mozilla Firefox browser. All right, so once we get that, where is it? Oh, right, here we go. It should say Mozilla Firefox or Firefox web browser. Depends on what you're using and how you have it set up. All right, this is pretty simple, pretty easy. In fact, I've done lots of the work for you. If you look at the bottom of this video in the info box, I have a list of links already set up, so you have you don't have to do any searching, anything like that. All right, we have six extensions I'll be installing. First one is Web of Trust. That basically it helps prevent you from clicking on shady links or suspicious websites or anything. It'll give you a little warning that this link isn't trusted. Second one is AdBlock Plus. If you've noticed when you're on the internet and you're getting lots of pop-ups all over your computer, these ads and everything, this tries to prevent lots of them from even finding you. Third one is called HTTPS Everywhere. What that does is when you're going to a website like Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, they have just a typical, uh, they have just a typical website. And this little thing right here, HTTP, that's just your general product website protocol. But if you have somebody around you that knows what they're doing and it's feeling like an anus, anus hole, they can basically what's called looking over your shoulder, or not actually look over your shoulder, they can use their computer to see what you're doing, see everything you're seeing, and see what you're typing in. So what they, uh, what they came up with is using an encrypted solution. You know this is safe because there's the lock right there. I think it would change its color. That could just be mine this link that I'm uh, showing you it does that for you you don't have to type in HTTPS all the time if you're on a site website that supports it it'll automatically pull it up for you next one is fastest Fox I'll show you that when we get it pulled up in fact let's go ahead and get this started because I know nobody wants to sit here and listen to me talk all right so you click this handy dandy little link in your Mozilla Firefox it'll take you to the web page that you're using all right, so it's add-ons for Firefox. This is the title. This will give you a little blurb about it. It's like an advertisement. This gives you a few more details, more about the add-on. Shows you pictures of what it looks like. I always come down here, read the reviews. That tells me if it's safe, not safe. It just gives me people, words from people that are actually using the program and not what the developers of the program want you to know. So if there's an app, uh, so if there's something that's not working you can get it straight from people that use it all right so once you're done reading always make sure you read everything that you can then all you have to do click add to firefox you wait a few seconds for that to uh, populate this basically just gives you a chance to make sure you're installing what you want to install and you're not just clicking through things and accidentally installing stuff so you hit the install now button and it'll actually restart Firefox but we're not going to do that today today we're just since we're installing so many at one time there's no point in restarting and restarting all over again so we'll wait till we're completely done alright let's go ahead and close that down now the next one is the ad block, ad block plus like I described to you let's make this bigger alright so read reviews and once you decide you want it add the Firefox once again go ahead and install it and while that's going 
where are we at all right I'm gonna skip this one go to fastest Fox now this is one of my favorite programs it's nothing overt it just gets makes you more productive by speeding up repetitive tasks like it says so read here actually you should read it and even if you don't understand it get it and then try it out for just a little bit so you can get a better explanation than what I'm giving you alright so once again add to Firefox click the install button wait till it loads up and let's on to the next one now this one's a little bit different this is from the EFF foundation whose whole purpose is to making sure that we're secure on the web that we're not being abused by basically they're defending your rights in the digital world thank you so read through here it explains it and then once you're done follow that link where it says Firefox users now you see since this isn't from directly from Firefox Firefox is trying to check to make sure that you know what you're installing so this is a trusted site go ahead and click allow and it's just the same as what you're used to alright now this is a handy dandy little one I like as well I haven't used it before I'm pretty good about not downloading things I don't trust but basically what this does is instead of having your software scan every um, everything you download because sometimes it doesn't always work this will upload anything you download to a website and test it up against various services to make sure that it's as safe as they can tell you so read through the site then once you're ready actually so once it's downloaded once you download a file it'll give you your normal options open with whatever program and save the disk but it also has if you can't see it an option to scan the virus total once you so if you want that you scan it and it'll let you know if it's safe alright so once you do that click the Firefox plugin click allow because it's a good safe website if you, don't, if you don't trust me you know do some research google it you always should just in case because you don't know me from anybody now here's another one I haven't got around to but I think it'll be very helpful to people students that are on online web classes people that are leaving long comments in their Facebook or people that are on websites uh, t uh, and working in the forum or something this is for when you're typing a long comment and the kids come by and knock down your laptop everything shuts off or you accidentally exit out of what you're working on you'd hate to lose all that work so as soon as you pull whatever website you have up it'll give you the option to recover whatever you type I haven't used it but I definitely know I need it so I will be using it quickly as possible alright so once that's installed, we have the six websites, in, sorry, six add-ons installed. What you want to do is go ahead and hit, where are we? Restart Firefox. It'll close down on you. And then pull everything up. We can close down this because you guys have the handy dandy links already down there. You don't need my little stuff. All right so this is the add-on box it'll tell you which add-ons were just installed it has the preferences right there if you don't like it you can always come and uninstall it or like me I have so many extensions that I don't want to use all of them and slow them down I probably have about 20 in my 20s so there are certain things that are just like if I'm buying something I use something called invisible hand it'll give me prices from competing websites I don't need that most times so I'll come here and click disable and and then when I need it I'll come and enable it for only the times I need it sorry I'm stuttering it's late and I'm about to go alright so now that you've installed these things first things first this is the web of terms sorry web of trust it's basically like installing software ask you to click I accept alright and let's finish this one first it asks you which protection setting is suitable for you I normally use light but I typically know enough not to go to any unworthy uh, untrustworthy sites you have one for kids if you're going to install this on your kids computer let's go with basic and recommended alright you can if you go to a website you don't think it's safe you can always 
use your username and whatever to give it whatever trustworthy rating you believe is appropriate I'm not going to do that this time so let's just go ahead and cancel out of it oh yeah you exit out of it alright so this explains to you what it is and what you're doing so we can close that out and now this ex uh, it's just a little what do you call it oh gosh this will explain what that Lazarus form recovery is it has a you have these tabs right here you already have it installed so you don't need to install it but if you have any questions come here read it learn it love it all right fastest Fox same type of thing they're just trying to get some extra features advertisement so you can read and learn about it same thing now this one this is adblock plus that's the one that blocks you from seeing as many ads as you're used used to it asks you which filter you want to uh, use basically these filters are designed by people that uh, is what they think should be safest to fit you so pick your country Francais or anything choose English and go ahead and hit as uh, as subscription all right now if you've noticed that virus totals put this ugly little toolbar here so I hate cluttering up my stuff so you come to toolbar you sorry you go to view you go to toolbars if I can stay there if I can stay there all right and you get rid of the toolbars you don't want I don't need that one and lots of people they I've noticed they have all these toolbars from Yahoo AOL Ma Mafia Wars all these things just cluttering up everything so you just get rid of the ones you don't like make yourself some more space and you're good to go all right well this is just a quick little highlight of the ones I feel are safer there's also an extension called no script very very safe to use good to use protects you very well but it has a learning curve and I don't have the time to uh, explain it to you right now alright 